Hello, and welcome to a tutorial on how to get started with content security policy. In this tutorial, we will be covering all the necessary steps for building, deploying, and monitoring a production website. Let's get started. The easiest way to get started with content security policy is to use the CSP Generator Chrome and Firefox extensions. Links are in the description. Once installed, head over to the website you'd like to build a content security policy for, then click Get Started. The browser extension will automatically start building a new content security policy for all the web pages that you visit so make sure to visit a couple of pages. You can click on the extension at any point to see the policy grow after every page. Once you've visited a couple of pages, click the next button in the extension to see the inline reports. We'll come back to these later. Finally, click the next button again to see your completed temporary policy. You can email the results to yourself and your team. You have now successfully built a policy. Now that we've built a policy, it's time to analyze the reports we've captured so far. Back in Casper, click on your project. This will take you to the report view. You can click and drag on the chart to zoom in on the reports that we collected with the extension. Reports are automatically grouped by type and displayed below. You can sort and filter the reports on policy, directive, classification, time, count, browser, including browser age, and the blocked resource. For more information on a particular report group, you can click the details page and see in-depth information. This includes source file, browser, document URI, the blocked URI, and the individual reports that were received. To build a policy from the reports we've received so far, you go to the Policy Builder tool and click Automatic. Here's our completed policy. All Casper projects get their own generic endpoint URL, but you can create your own custom endpoint. It's now time to deploy our policy in report-only mode. For help getting started deploying your policy, check out the Casper blog and Casper documentation, where we include a number of script samples in different languages. I'll be using Node.js. Within my Node.js server, I inject middleware that installs the CSP header on every request. I can verify that this is working by going back to my website and opening up the network panel to see the returned headers. Here I can see my CSP header. Casper also supports a real-time view. So you can open up the real-time panel and verify that when you go to the website, reports are being generated. Reports received by Casper are displayed in the real-time panel within a second. It's now time to handle inline scripts. Back in Casper, click Inline Report Handler and select the appropriate policy. This shows that we have a data layer, inline script, which is Google Analytics, on line 139 in the index.html. To fix this, we have to copy the resource to its own file. So we embed a new script tag called source is equal to ga.js and delete the old script. Make sure to copy over this script to ga.js before deleting. More help on dealing with inline resources can be found on the Casper documentation and Casper blog. One of the best techniques for ensuring that content security policy doesn't break your website in production is to use the same policy in all of your development environments. To do this for Casper, go to the Organization view and create a project for all of your environments, such as staging and development. It's important that all of these environments use the same policy, but different report URIs so that we can set up alerts in the next stage. Custom endpoints can be set up for these projects too, so that they're easier to differentiate. Now we're going to set up a learning. Casper supports different types of alerts, but right now we're only going to create an alert for detecting attempted accesses. For this, our trigger will be new report type, and we'll be looking for reports of classification source, inline, and injected with directives of script source and object source. To reduce false positives, we're only going to look at alerts for browsers with a user agent of at least one year old. When this alert fires, we'll have it email myself. Normally, you'd put the name of your team here or multiple people so they can all respond to alerts. Then we'll enable the alert. We're now going to demo an attempted XSS on our website. First, we'll embed a script tag within our index.html. This will be our pretend XSS. Then we'll go back to the page, view the XSS, and view the XSS happening in real time. We can see it show up with the payload of alert one. We can then get more details about the XSS. We also receive an email within a couple of seconds showing the attempted XSS so that we can respond. It's important to remember that content security policy is a defense in depth tool, and the underlying issues should always be fixed when identified. Once the issue is fixed, the alert can be acknowledged. Next, we're going to add more users to a project so that multiple people can respond to alerts. 
Users can be added in either the project level or the organization level. Adding a user to the project allows them to read, write, or admin only that specific project. Here, I've invited the security at Casper.io team to join. I can do the same within the organization. We recommend that you keep your policy in report-only mode for a couple of weeks to ensure that all external content is found and added to the policy, and all inline scripts are moved to their own file. Once the policy is deployed in enforced mode, content that doesn't match the policy will be blocked, which can break your website. To move a policy to enforced mode, simply change the header from Content Security Policy Report Only to Content Security Policy. At this point, you have successfully deployed a production-grade content security policy with proper monitoring and alerting for your team. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at stuart at casper.io. Cheers.